I just want to show this off real quick. I've got this hard drive. It's unlocked right now, so this Xbox will not read it. And I'm going to demonstrate that real quick right now. Okay, so error number five. And unplug that, put that aside. And what we're gonna need to do is lock the hard drive. Now, if you don't have the EEPROM, then you can't get the hard drive key and lock it and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get the EEPROM. What you're gonna need is a Pico Pie or similar so you can read the EEPROM. Now, someone else made the code, but I wrote the script to make it a lot easier. So you plug that in, plug these in, red is on top and blue is on the bottom. I have my fingers backwards here. Oh, no, I don't. I had it right. So just put that on there. And now we put this on the motherboard. Like so, just like that. But if you start it up, it's probably going to shut down immediately because it's going to notice those are there. We'll find out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And it doesn't. So I guess we can proceed. Now this is the script. I've made this uh, show active com ports to show you what device is available. If there are multiple devices or just a single one, com 3 is what we're on. So that's good to know. Install prerequisites. You're going to have to have Python installed. So if you hit 1, it'll bring up the download immediately. It brings it up in the browser. Other prerequisites, just install straight through the script. Go to like three here. Yeah, I already have them, so. Um, number four, we'll copy the UF2 to the desktop so you can easily just plug in the Pico Pi and drag and drop that on top of there and it'll program it for you um what else github downloads that'll take you to all of the different projects that you can use this with the micro the uno the raspberry pi the pico pi the esp32 the 8266 and the other one is some other project that someone else is working on. Currently, that's going to be available later on. Diagrams. You have diagrams for all these. Uh, it'll just open it up in your regular image browser on Windows. I don't think it'll show on here that it's coming up in my window, but that just brought up the diagram for the micro. And yeah. So there's four different diagrams that you can download here. So what we'll do is we'll read the EEPROM. Whoops. We'll read the EEPROM real quick. As I said, it's COM3, and it actually says it at the top still, so we're good. Do you want to use the 
Yes, I do. And there. Yes, I do. And there, it's copied to the desktop. Now, I can go ahead and erase the EEPROM. I don't have to do this part. You can go straight to writing it, but I'm just doing this for demonstration. So, warning. This will erase the EEPROM. Hit enter to erase the EEPROM. And it does. That EEPROM, I can load it from my desktop and it'll show me all the information from this Xbox. Now, if I read this again, it will overwrite it on my desktop. So I have a separate version that actually backs this up. You can't even get the serial number out of it. It's all zeros. So what we're gonna wanna do is write the EEPROM which is the second reading that I got because the first one was zeroed out just because of what I did. But it puts the EEPROM on the desktop. So you want to grab that one, drag and drop it into the window itself, and then hit enter. Now you pick your COM port, COM3 again, hit yes, and it'll write it right back to the console. Warning. Yes, that's fine. And that's all there is to it. Now we've got our EEPROM back. We can now go ahead and use that EEPROM in Fat Explorer. Backed up this hard drive. Go to the security tools and for my configuration, I need it at SAT. And go ahead and power it on. Hit refresh. There it is in the list. See, it has nothing has no password set or anything. And if I refresh here, I can go to see if this was messed up, then I could fix these files and make the Xbox boot again. But it's not messed up. So I can unmount that. I also have my E partition which has some apps on it and things, but what's important is you can actually drag and drop the soft mod files into it, which I have right here. Okay, so I can drag, drag and drop these right onto my E drive. T data and U data. And here is the Surbios soft mod. So that'll be all ready to go whenever I fix this drive up. So now what I want to do, go to devices, unmount it, unmount it anyway, who cares? And we can go to our hard drive security now. We'll pick our drive, set the password, load from EEPROM, and it's EEPROM2 because the first one zeroed out. Set the password. And there we go. It's ready to go now. If I plug it into the Xbox, it should work correctly. So let's do that. And I'll take this off of here. I don't need that in there anymore. This is still powered on, but it doesn't need to be. Plug this in, and now we'll see what we got. And there you have it.
like brand new. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I can just set up with the internet. But here's our Surbias software. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is this USB to controller port thing into console. Open up Drive Droid on my Android device here. And go to Surbios Part 2. Writable USB. Now this will host an image that is actually a memory unit. And I can continue on with the Servius install. That's it. Pretty neat tool overall and very useful. I wish I would have had it back in the day. But I didn't. But now I do. So, there we have it. Already all set to go. Pretty cool.